fried trade chips. Modern loot. No one gets hurt. Well, that just sounds like. Oh. Hello, love. Did you sleep well? Your head is pounding, hmm? <laughs> well, you always were a lightweight. <laughs> I'm only teasing you a little. Hang on. Let me get you something to drink. But I gotta say, that was quite the party last night. It's not so often I get to see you relax and unwind on my ship. Here you go, love. Uh, by the way, do you have any idea what time it is? Noon? Already? Ugh, I feel way too tired for it to be noon. Mm, nah, I'm too hungover to count doubloons. So let's just rest today, darling. You and me this bed and we just enjoy the gentle rocking of the ship as we cuddle. Now doesn't that sound nice? Besides, the crew can handle taking care of the ship for one day, so just relax. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're gonna stay here and cuddle with me. Your captain commands it of you. You wouldn't want to make me throw you into the brig now, would you? Someone's being a little rebellious today. Well then, looks like you're going to the brig. Which in this case are my arms. Now get in. Don't make me lie on top of you. <laughs> Good girl. Mm. Yesterday was great, don't you think? I still can't believe how much gold we got. And all those gems and pearls, too. You should have seen the Admiral's face when we hoisted up the Jolly Roger. His face went whiter than his powdered wig when he saw us aboard his ship. I will say, though, he does have good taste in hats. What do you think? I look more commanding with this one, don't I? <laughs> yeah, I like the feathers, too. Gives me more of a regal look. Hey, what's so funny? Ah, uh, how we first met to where we are now. I won't lie, I never would have imagined that someone I was trying to hold for ransom would end up being my first mate. Or my girlfriend, for that matter. Hmm. I'm so glad you talked me into keeping you. You make a great pillow. And you could actually be pretty scary when you want to as well. Oh, I'm being serious. I'll never forget that time we docked in the Royal Port. As we were coming back from a night of drinking, we saw you chasing that rat on the ship, screaming like a banshee, with your gun and your dagger in hand. And with that, the legend of the screaming banshee of the Seven was born. Some say, if you listen very carefully, you could hear rats squeaking in fear as our ship approaches. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I'll stop. You know, I wouldn't trade anything for this life. You, me, the crew, the ship, the sea. I wouldn't give it up. Not even for all the gold in the king's treasury. Retire? Ha! Huh. They'll have to burn this ship down to ashes before I retire. Besides, we're in our prime. We just looted five Spanish ships without shedding a single drop of blood. We'll be the talk of the tavern we decide to spend our money in. But I suppose it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Yeah, I can imagine that. You, 
me in a nice home overlooking the sea in a nice little hammock for us to rest in, just like this, while we watch the sunset and we drink all the ale and wine we could ever want. <laughs> yeah, that does sound nice. Hey, um, there's something I want to tell you. Okay, just bear with me. I'm not the best with the whole lovey-dovey stuff, but, well, what I'm essentially trying to say is that I've been a pirate for so long, and throughout the years of pillaging and robbing people blind, the only thing I could say I ever loved were my ship, my crew, and my treasure. Throughout those years, nothing else really mattered to me, but then you came along and ended up being my most valuable treasure. So, yeah, I just wanted to just... Mm. I must have said something right if you're the one kissing me. <laughs> I love you too, darling. Now, let me pull you in closer. Yeah, just like that. You rest now, love. Rest on me. I love you.